my love. When we first set sail and pushed off to sea, I stood at the bow looking backward, dry-eyed and imagining that the world in all its color and grandeur and majesty had been devastated by that same flood I'd seen when I told you that my father was making me leave. It was a midsummer night's eve, and in my heart, it was a romance, the same Shakespearean tragedy, that quintessential teenage flickering that let love burn brighter in the reminiscent memories as we slowly fell asleep, cuddling beneath the stars that I wished upon through the cutout at the top of the teepee. It doubled by day as an Indian fort, with girls have cooties stitched across the seams, and at night, our secret love affair that the cowboys would have deemed a crime punishable by cat gun and sour faces and wild, wild west make believe. Old enough to comprehend, but young enough to dream. I can still hear the rhythm of your breathing beneath that canopy. While the wind played brush on the snare And God threw his bolts of lightning Like the thunderclap clave To compliment the whistling moving through the trees And remembered you promising That when we grew up You'd build a home for me Now to start growing And you'd curl up your fake mustache Like your favorite character In your favorite movie Whisper, I'll be your huckleberry And in the morning when I snuck back to my room, I thought, tragedy indeed, the innocence, if ever it was, can be stripped away without a warning, my king. By grace or by fate, or by luck or by mercy, I trust the moon will carry your letters safely to me. This flood rescinding will give way to land depending, and like the hand of God gave olive leaves to encourage that ancient family, my dove with love and sincerity and all that I have to offer, your queen.